Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a very first look at Rail Route on the PC. This has been in uh, early access for quite a while and it's having its full release on the 22nd of February. So if you're watching this on the day of release, it is now available in its full form. Uh, it's brought to us uh, by a developer and a publisher, bitrich.info. And it's a fantastic little game. I did have a quick go of it when I first received the key a few weeks back uh, via key mailer. Uh, and I gave the story of Josic uh, a quick go, as you can see on the screen there. Um, the blurb that I received says, Start with a few stations, design your first railway lines, and experience the joy of your first train completing its route. Take on contracts to earn money and upgrade points, unlocking new technologies that introduce more trains and automation tools into your network. So there's so much to do uh, within the game itself. It has some um, some maps in it. So if you go to timetable, there's all these different types of uh, routes that you can dispatch trains from. I've downloaded the West Coast mainline, uh, so it'll include my hometown on there. So you can dispatch trains from London. Um, up onto the onto the West Coast Main Line. There's so much for you to do. There's so much content here. I think it's on Steam currently for twenty pounds ninety nine. Uh, so if you fancy giving it a go, I'll leave all the PC requirements down below in the description so you can check that out there too. Uh, but literally, you can run this on a potato. It's that easy uh, for you your pc to run it but what we're going to do today is just so you can get a feel of the game we're going to run through the story of Josic. so without further ado let's dive right in oh hello you must be my replacement. I'm Josic. I've been the dispatcher here for over 30 years now, and I'll be training you today. It's good to meet you. This is the dispatch interface. Oh, don't worry. We're not very busy at the moment. We've got plenty of time to practice. Why don't we try moving around our view a bit to start? Right, so to start the off, button to move the we're going to get simple um, you navigation key. instructions, oh, now, try scrolling like so, to zoom in. like ah, that. You're a natural. I can tell you're going to be great at this already. Now, how about we get a bit more comfortable with the interface? There are a few different things that we need to learn about. First up, we have the switches. These allow us to direct the train's route and decide which track they'll follow. Right, so what we need to do now is click the highlighted switch like so. Now we'll move on to the signals. These signals instruct the train to either proceed or halt, depending on which way they're flipped. So we click that and it frees the line up like so. This means that it's set to proceed. Trains will be able to run through it. Let's right click it to set it back to stop. Great job. As a dispatcher, you'll be responsible for routing trains to specific locations, so we should get familiar with some of the routes you'll be using. Let's start by making a route from Davidson, Platform 2, to Bugney, Platform 2. We'll start by setting the switches so that the train can safely pass them. Remember, great! Now that the switches are set, you can flip the signal. Excellent! Now that the route is set, a train could run through and reach its destination. We'll try setting another route in a second, but first we need to close the current route. Flip the signal to halt. This will make the track available for other trains again. Normally, a train would automatically reset the signal when it passes by, but for now, we can do it manually. Let's right click it to set it back to great job. Looks like you know what you're doing. Let's see if you can create a route on your own. Try making a route from Bubni Platform 2 to Docks Platform 1. And remember, switches first, then signals. Wonderful. But there we go. Let's We've just created our first route all on our own. Trains. Let's right-click it to set it back to stop again. Great job. Well, you've certainly got the hang of that. 
The trains will start coming soon. I'm off to get a coffee, and then we'll start for real. Hey guys, you can see he's got a really simplistic art style, but it's really well done. Very addictive. Once you get to grips with it, there is a lot uh, to get to grips with. Um, but once you do, it becomes very, very that? addictive. Sounds like we've got a train approaching. We'd better get back to work. Oh, look. Davice Station has a circular train icon next to one of its platforms. That means there's a train waiting to arrive at that platform. We better wave it through. Looks like train commuter 1011. So once you've selected your train that you're coming in you coming in there, you pick the la uh, the platform two. you want it to uh, go to. So we go to platform two. Right here it comes. Sometimes you can see the train, the train coming through there. I take a nap whilst I wait for them. <laughs> well, feel free to pass the time any way you like. No use sitting here doing nothing. As you can see here, it's saying that we Davici. Uh, platform 2 arrives at 8.01 and departs at 8.02 and it's got to be at Bun Bubni uh, for 8.05 and it departs from there at 8.06. switch down the line, we better change its route or else we'll be sending them straight into a dead end. So we need to switch this switch Set here. Switch to the correct position. Good work. Like so. Now we've got to signal to the train that it's we safe open the to signal. Break. That'll let the train know that it's safe to set off. Once it's past it, the signal will go back to causing trains to halt. We'll just wait for the train to depart now. It shouldn't be long. So, as you can see there, there's a countdown. 30-odd seconds. So, what we can do, we've got some uh, speed-up icons down here. We put it to 10 times fast, and you can see the time going down really oh, quickly now. The train just started moving. Its scheduled departure time must have passed already. Now we wait for the train to arrive in Bhutan. As I said, feel free to take a quick power nap. I know I will. Obviously, what you can do now, you can speed up the time, but obviously when um, you're onto busier maps, um, you're going to be having trains here, there, and everywhere, arriving and leaving. So you'd leave it, you know, in this slower speed, you know, real time, so to speak. So what we'll do now, just to get that train on its way, we'll go 25 times oh, look, faster. The track's turned red. That means that it's occupied. There we go. So we've got that train to its destination. Bubney. It's supposed to arrive there at 805. Sorry, 805, yes, it's going to depart at 806. Time to teach you about reversing. Sometimes we'll need to send the train back the way it came. That's where the reverse button comes in. If we right click that, oh, it turns the train back around. Make sure you flip the switch because it's going line. now to the platform one, as you can platform see there. One, uh, Davici, uh, platform the one. So we click that, so it means the train has got a clear run now to platform one. We set the signal to green, and in 13 seconds that will leave. So we'll press 10 times the speed. We'll press it again just to get it on its way. Put it to 25 so it goes a little bit quicker. There we go. As you see up here now at the top of the screen, that should change. Uh, so we've successfully brought in one train on time. Your very own pocket watch. You can pin it to your uniform. I got this when I first started as a conductor a long, long time ago. Try it on. Wow, that really suits you, huh? Reminds me of myself when I was younger. So, the story of Joe Zitch. It's just a really cool way of teaching the basics of the game. But this train now should. Well, I think it's time to see how well I've taught you. Back on that way, I think. Try dispatching four trains on your own now, and you've got to make sure that they're all on time. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll be great. Check the timetable to see the incoming trains. This is the timetable down here for all the incoming trains. So that should depart that way. Yes, that's what I thought it would do. And then any moment now, we should have another train on its way. 
We've got one coming into platform two at Divici. The there we go. Make sure to keep an eye on its so See we click on the train and, and we accept it onto platform two. Late. We'll visit on so it's a little bit quicker. There we go. So this one, Divici platform two, going to Bubbly platform two and then back to platform one at Divici. Um, so we've got to do this, the points first. So we've set that point there. It's clear run through. And we'll give it permission there, give it the green light. We'll hit 10 times. Got over a minute to wait until it departs platform two. And then it's going to go off to Bubney platform two over here. So we'll uh, 25 times that. Just to get it over there, for the sake of the video. There we go. All right, so that will pull into platform two there now. So what we need to do, we need to reverse the train up. It's pulled in. There we go. So we'll reverse it now. Remember, uh, Davici platform one now. So we need to turn that point there. Send it over there. And as you can see, there's a. I don't know how well you can see this on your screens, but there's a timer there going down from four minutes thirty seconds. Uh, so that's how long it's got to get there. So it's on time, and we've got twenty seconds until we depart. So we turn that to green. That's good to go. It's got a clear run through. Speed it up. See the timer going down now. Over there, you really have to squint if you're watching this on a phone, but it should arrive there bang on time, as it did. There we go. So that's going to leave now and depart that way. Jobs are good. And Let's speed it up a nice touch. Work. There we go. You were a natural. Train was actually, so you can see up there at the top now, we've brought two trains in on time. We'll speed it up again. We should have another train coming now. Another incoming train? There we go. Make sure you handle it on time. Oh, looks like the train's heading for the docks. This one's going to the we docks. We take the route, but that takes a while. Why don't we build a shortcut? See that highlighted button? That's the construction menu. Go ahead and click it. What we can also do as well, Open the construction menu. we can construct new lines. So we could click that. Now click the highlighted cell on our map. Perfect. Now we can place the rest. Click the new highlighted cell. Excellent job. That'll make the trip to the docks much quicker. Perfect. Now you can use that route for the next train. I'm going to step out and stretch my legs a bit. Don't worry. I'll be back when you're done dispatching all of the trains. Good luck. Right, so we've built a new section of line there. So what we need to do now is open up all the points. So that train's got a clear run through. We'll give it a green signal, 25 times the speed. And that should be on its way now. As you can see, off it goes. There we go, beautifully done. Splendid. And that will continue on its way that way. When it departs in there we go splendid so we've got another one coming in here and so we'll accept that one onto there so it's going to davici then bubbly two then back up to davici platform one uh, so we'll speed that up that one's left up there now that line is free so we need to change that point there we've got a clear run through to bubbly and we'll give it the green signal 25 times the speed that clock will run down off it goes it's a really nice easy to follow tutorial that gets you to grips with the basics and i've just um, made this train late somehow what do we need to do here where are we going platform one that's it there we go where's this train going I want you to turn around. Remember, the trains don't reverse automatically. Yes, I know. There we go. I'm doing it. I wondered what the hell was going on there. I started to panic. <laughs> we'll give it the green signal, and it can go off to platform one. And there it goes. It should have departed. I think it's running early now. There we go. We'll give it 25 times speed again. Got two minutes or so to get there. We should be okay. Running bang on time. There we go, yeah, spot on. So we've got everything on time up to now, as you can see. We've got four trains on time. 
that's going to depart there now. Let's just speed that up. We've got one more train to dispatch, I think. So it's now 8.43. We've got this one on its way now to Da Vinci Platform 2, I think, at 8.45. Wait for that to arrive. So let's speed the time up a touch. Here it comes. Here we go. So Da Vinci, platform two. And then it's going to the docks. Speed it up a touch. So we're going to go to the docks. We need to select that and that. Which will send it nicely up to the docks. So we're going to give it the green signal already. And we'll speed up the time. And it'll pick up its passengers. And go straight off to the docks. Nice and easy. As you can imagine, uh, once you pick more of a complex uh, route, things can get a little bit chaotic. So we'll see how far we get. There we go. That's the tutorial pretty much done. Uh, it gives you the credits now for that little section. So we'll press and hold F uh, to skip. Now we've got there we go. Things. We don't want to get bored, do we? I think it's time to ramp up the traffic a bit. And we can do that by accepting some contracts. Perhaps one from Davice to Bubni and back. Just to keep things simple. Open the info panel for Davice. I'll let you know when we're ready. But for now, you should keep an eye on the station info panel. Try to see when our current trains are arriving and departing. That way, you'll be better prepared to take on new contracts. So this is our uh, info panel here. It tells you where the trains are, what's coming, what's departing. A bit like a timetable. Right, so this train here is going to Bubni. Uh, so we need to change that there. And we can uh, open up the line for it. If you hover over the train as well, it also gives you the information where it's going, what time it departs, and everything else that you need to know. So we'll uh, speed that up so it departs, and once it gets over here, we'll send it back over to Da Vinci on platform one. There she goes, so let's just slow that clock down. Wait for the train to stop. Come on, stop, 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 stop. There we go. Didn't think it was going to stop for a minute then. There you are, so we've turned it round. So this is going to platform one. And let's clear that signal. And off it goes. So we'll speed her up again. Perfect. Now seems like a good time. And it looks like you've been offered a new contract. Isn't that a lucky coincidence? Let's click on the offered contract icon and take a look. All right, so we opened this panel up. In this delightful Explore not only the contract details, but also the train's route and the stations it visits. Before we proceed with this contract, there is a bit of scheduling work we should do. We'll settle up the platforms for the stops and make sure there aren't any clashes with other train schedules. Trust me, nailing down the platforms will make your dispatcher life a whole lot smoother in the long run. Finally, we should allocate a platform one for the return stop at Div Perfect. With that, our contract is ready to be accepted. So the whole point of that then, obviously you've heard the, the gentleman talk, which is making sure that it doesn't clash with any other timetables for the platforms, etc. So everything's clear. We can accept it over here on the right-hand side. Accept that. Good work. Now We've got another trade coming in here. Time for the trial train. It's a reality check for our schedule. You can make adjustments just after the trial. But keep in mind that it may affect how much you'll be paid for it. So make it count. So let's speed things up a touch. So that can go there. We can free this line up once that one's gone and pass through. There we go. So we'll slow things back down again. So this one, Davici Platform 2, back over to Bubney and back again. So... Repeating pretty much what we've been doing. So that is departed. We've got that bang on time there. So that should depart now. Should depart. Yes, there it goes. So off it goes over to Bubbly. That one's leaving now. We've oh, just been paid for that one. Contracts for the future. Remember, you should only accept the ones you like the look of. 
No need to take too many or any at all. If you'll so we've got another train coming in there. This one's going to the docks. But this one uh, needs to leave here at six minutes past nine. It needs to get to the docks. Docks at nine eleven. Uh, right. Where's this one going next? Okay, so now we need to get this uh, Da Vici off to the docks. So we need to change that point there. Look at that. The train's at Bubney already. Okie dokie. So we will send that one on it. That, that's clear. Oh no, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. We need to turn that one around and send this one to platform two, don't we? So let's give that the green light. Speed it up. That was. Oh, does that one want to go? Hang on. So this one's coming first. Hopefully this one won't be late. We may have messed up here. There we go. Give that. Oh no, I've done it wrong. Whew, that was quick. Don't worry if you're not happy with the contract. Right, so we'll accept the contract. You. That train will be running every 60 minutes from now on, so be sure to watch out for it. We've messed up here because this is now going to go to Bubney. We've got another train coming in here. We'll accept that on that platform. We'll speed things up. Now that we're so busy, we don't want to be having to manually accept all those trains, do we? No, it's a pain in the neck, buddy. Let me sort this one out first, though. Make our life a little easier. We should start by automatically accepting trains onto the platforms. We'll need to unlock the auto accept trains upgrade to do right, that. So let's Go send that one on its way. System upgrades panel it's now late, that one. And let ahead, me just... No yes, I'm going to do it in a minute, fella. Just give me a minute. There we are. So that's arrived. Right, so let's do as he's asking here. Welcome to the system upgrades panel. As you can see, we've got all sorts of fancy bells and whistles lined up for the future. They're organized into categories, and within those, you'll find multiple tiers. See that progress bar at the top? It's your trusty guide to leveling up. It tells you how many experience points you need per cycle to unlock the next set of goodies. A little like life, wouldn't you say? Why don't you go ahead and click on the auto... Ah, you found it. This gym takes green experience points to unlock. Don't fret. You'll earn one of those each time we dispatch a train right on schedule. So, let's try not to be fashionably late, shall we? Click the upgrade button to unlock it. We'll click E. Nice work. There we go. That's our first upgrade. Hopefully there's many more to come. Now, let's take a look at how it works. Close the system upgrades panel. Let's open up the train configuration panel to see what the upgrade gave us. Go ahead, select the station, then click on the configuration. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, so let's just pop ahead, that down select there. The station, then click on the configuration key. We'll click on the configuration key. I think we've pressed the wrong thing there. Look at there that. we go. A button's been added. Turning this on will let us automatically accept trains arriving at this station. Perfect. This button will be available in every one of our stations. Remember, it's activated by default, so feel free to uncheck it when you need to. Right, we're back here now. This one's going to Bubney. Uh, so let's make sure all our points are open. And we'll give it the green signal. And that is on its way now, so we'll speed things up a touch. There it goes, on its way. Let's give it a little bit more speed. There we go. Perfect. And it's pulled in there at Bubney. So now that has got to go back over here. Uh, lines, oh no, let's turn it around, got the green signal, so that could head back now, we've got another train waiting down here, that wants to go to the docks, so we will clear everything up for that, there we go, we'll give that one the green signal, fingers crossed we're not running too late, there we go, bang on time as well, we've got another one down here, uh, that's going to Bubney as well. 
So let's clear that. There we go. Ah, the church bells. They remind me of my time at Wakefield. That was a long, long time ago. So there you go. I'm sure I close my eyes, uh, I you got the the, uh, the, the grasp of what's going on there and what the game is all about. Um, let me know down in the comments you know, what you think. You think you'll give it a purchase? Uh, if your PC can run it, which I'm sure it will. If my PC can run it, I'm sure your PC or laptop at home can run it as well. It's a lot of fun. Like I said, there's a lot to take in. Um, but I've played this tutorial now uh, three or four times, and you, you do start to uh, pick things up, and the gentleman now is asking me to try another map, uh, the Wakefield map. If you'd like to see more of this game in maybe a live stream or another video, please let me know down in the comments as well. Um, they say, would you like to try the timetable mode? Uh, but I think we'll give that a miss today. We'll end the video right there. So let me know what you think down in the comments. As I said previously, if you have enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you know when I go live and new content drops onto the channel. But once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.